Checking for the presence of methane gas and detecting oxygen deficiency have been necessary activities in underground coal mining for many years. Methane testing has been at least partly responsible for the decreasing frequency of disastrous coal mine explosions in recent times. However, because of changing technology, increasing numbers of methane face ignitions are evident. Some possible ignition sources are frictional sparks from cutting bits, arcs and sparks from electrical equipment or electrical sources, improper use of explosives, open lights or smoking, which by law are not permitted anyway, and the improper care and use of a flame safety lamp. Any one of these could trigger a major disaster in an explosive mixture of methane and air. Many approved instruments are now used to detect and measure percentages of methane, and others used to indicate the percentage of oxygen in the mine atmosphere. However, the permissible flame safety lamp is still carried by certified persons as a supplementary testing device. Great care in both the maintenance and use of the flame safety lamp is necessary, not only for the lamp to serve as the supplement to mechanical devices, but also to prevent ignitions. The Code of Federal Regulations states, each operator shall provide for the proper maintenance and care of the permissible flame safety lamp or any other approved device for detecting methane and oxygen deficiency by a person trained in such maintenance. The principle of preventing the flame in a safety lamp from igniting gas in the atmosphere surrounding it is relatively simple. The flame that is developed by normal combustion is dissipated and cooled below the ignition temperature of methane by the fine wire mesh screen of the gauze. However, if the gauze is overheated, the flame will penetrate through the mesh. The flame safety lamp will not burn in a methane-free atmosphere having an oxygen content below 16 and a quarter percent. In a methane-free atmosphere, oxygen deficiency can be detected by its effect upon the flame of the lamp. When a lighted lamp is taken into an atmosphere that is deficient in oxygen, the flame momentarily increases in height and separates from the wick, then drops to a lower height, and then immediately goes out. The lamp will burn in atmospheres where the oxygen content is lower than 16 and a quarter percent if methane is present. When methane is present in a mine atmosphere which is deficient in oxygen, the flame height alone is not a reliable indicator of either the percentage of methane content or oxygen deficiency. However, observation of both the height and color of the flame shows the presence of more than one and one half percent of methane or less than 16 percent of oxygen or combinations of these conditions. The flame will be extinguished when the oxygen content falls below 13 percent, regardless of the percentage of methane present. No one should try to enter or remain in an atmosphere in which a flame safety lamp will not burn unless he wears a self-contained breathing apparatus. Accumulations of carbon dioxide may be detected by a flame safety lamp if there is enough carbon dioxide to dilute the atmospheric oxygen to a level which will not support the flame. Tests should be made both at the floor and roof because carbon dioxide is heavier than air and may accumulate in low places, whereas heated carbon dioxide rises above the adjacent air. To test in low places, hold the lamp by the carrying hook. In the process of testing for methane, the lamp is held firmly in either hand by the fuel fount and always in an upright position. Since methane is lighter than air, it will be found in the higher locations of the mine or working places. The lamp must be raised slowly. It is unwise to thrust a lighted safety lamp into a mine atmosphere known to be potentially explosive. By raising the lamp slowly, the atmosphere can be fairly explored. When the behavior of the flame indicates that gas is present, the lamp should be withdrawn slowly 
hasty withdrawal will tend to drive the flame through the gauzes. In the event that a safety lamp is thrust unintentionally into an explosive mixture, which may be indicated by the lamp filling with flame or the wick flame going out, it should be withdrawn slowly and taken to fresh air for relighting. 